There once was a small atelier in the city of Arland. It was an alchemy shop, and the palace intended to tear it down. But a young woman named Rorona protected the shop, and was its guardian for three years. Her efforts bore fruit, and the atelier was saved. Now, Rorona can come and go as she pleases. Different paths stretch out before her, one of which you are about to see. off on an adventure? It seems so quiet. Although, I guess I can do whatever I want now. What should I do? You know what? I think I'll just take it easy. Usually I can't afford to relax. But now... This is the place. I see. I hope she's here. Um, who are you? Master Rorona! I finally found you! This is her? I guess that seems about right. Now maybe we can finally get some answers. Master? I don't know anybody who calls me that. Oh, right, of course. We haven't met yet. I'm Totori, and this is Meruru. There was an... accident. We're from the future. We came from the Arles Kingdom. It's way off to the northwest. Um... Oh, sorry. I guess we were kind of rambling, huh? I'll bet even you think it sounds pretty impossible, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What if I told you that the thing that sent us back in time was created by Astrid? What? Really? And that's pretty much it. You are right, Totori. All we had to do was mention Astrid's name and she believed us. Well, I mean, only because that does sound like something she'd do. I'm glad you believe us, Master Rorona. Uh, Totori, right? Could you please stop calling me that? It's embarrassing. Oh, you don't have to be modest, Master. It's fine. No! Anyway, we're looking for a way to get back to the future. Since Astrid made the thing that sent us back here in the first place, we thought we'd ask her. She left on a long journey a while ago. I don't even know when she's coming back. What? Oh no. We never thought of that. What should we do? This is going to make things a lot more difficult. We might not be going back anytime soon. We can't stay here for very long though. We don't have enough money. Well, she just left on a whim, so she might come back any time. You can stay here until she does. Really? When I stayed here before... No, in the future... Anyway, it's not very big. If you're working, then we're just going to get in the way. Yeah, but I can't just abandon you. I mean, you're my apprentices, apparently. Besides, you're both alchemists, and I'm hoping you can teach me. Hmm. Oh, I know! You can borrow my master's room! This is all her fault, after all.
That's her room over there. This is it. I need to unlock it, though. some of it, but plenty of these things I've never seen before. We should be careful. I feel bad asking you to stay in a room like this, but I don't really have anything else. Oh no, it's fine. Thank you, Master Rorona. We might want to clean it up a bit first, though. Yeah, let's do that real quick. putting us up. But I don't want you to think we're expecting to stay for free. If you ever need our help, just say so. We can even go on adventures with you. Thank you. I'll tell you if I need anything. Oh, there was one other thing. You're so formal. I was hoping you could be a little more casual. We are your apprentices, after all. But I... Wha what? Yes, I'd like that too. Okay, sure. Oh, perfect timing. I was just about to go visit you. I have a message from the palace. A message? Yeah, it's regarding a request. Over the last three years, you did a lot of work for the palace. Now you can choose your own jobs, but... We want to maintain relations with you, so we'll continue to commission work from you. These are just requests, not assignments. No solid deadlines, but the sooner the better. Oh, I see. Here are the details. We'll compensate you, of course. Take a look. I guess I should go ahead and do what they're asking for. It sounds like they trust me, after all. Also, no deadlines is nice. If I can turn these in whenever, <laughs> why not do them? Progress. Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Keep it up. What's wrong, Ixo? You're spacing out. Oh, Verona, I didn't see you. I can see that. What's wrong? You aren't acting like yourself. Huh? Oh, it's nothing important. Were you thinking about something? If you're having trouble, maybe I can help. I doubt it. It's about the owner. Apparently he wants to open up a second branch. If he does, then he'll have to spend all his time over there. So, who would run this place? Me, apparently. What? You? That's great! Uh, I'd still be working for him, though. But you're always saying that you want to run your own restaurant. 
yeah, and I do, but I wanted to open up my own small place and then build up from there. But this place is big, and running it is a big responsibility. It's a lot of pressure. Maybe, but pressure is how you get diamonds. Besides, you'll do fine. Your cooking is great. Thanks. Actually, I do feel better. See? I'm good for the soul. And your cooking is good. You'll get lots of customers, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Huh. Now I feel kind of silly for getting all worried. Just what I'd expect from my rival. I'm not really your rival. to the future. Well, probably with a dragon hourglass. That's how we got here anyway. I've never even heard of that. Of course not. Astrid invented it. Well, invents it, I guess. It's supposed to allow you to move freely between the past and the future. We just ended up here. If we'd used it correctly, I don't think this would have happened. If only we knew how to make to collect the ingredients we'd need. Hmm. So, if I work really hard, do you think I can make one before my master does? You taught Tolturi everything she knows! I'm sure you could! Wait, but then wouldn't that mean that Rorona invented it, not Astrid? But we told Rorona about it, and we wouldn't be here if Astrid hadn't invented it, so... This is getting confusing. Okay, I think I should probably just forget about it. Sorry for asking. Yeah, thanks for offering, but we'll figure it out ourselves. Oh, that reminds me. Pamela asked me to pass on her thanks. Good work. Any progress? Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Looks like you filled the line. That means you earned a reward. Keep it up. type hourglass instead. It's a limited version of the dragon hourglass. 
Items placed in it can be sent to and from times. Unfortunately, it's not rated for human travel. The possible side effects are... unpleasant. Anyway, if you run into trouble and need anything, or want to send me something, just use this. If you send something, I'll send back whatever I think is appropriate. Good luck, Astrid. Astrid sent us something from the future! Tottery! Verona! Huh. So if we tell her what we want by sending an item, she'll send us what she thinks we want? That means she might send us stuff from the future! Incredible! Alchemy must be so much more advanced in your time. Not really. This is... special. We didn't even know this thing existed. Should we send something? Like, as a test? Yeah. Let's see. How about these scraps of cloth? We should get something back. Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Huh, I didn't see that. Let's have a look. P.S. Here's how to make a dragon hourglass. I'm building one, but you might as well try two. It's a recipe. So if we can find the materials, we could make a dragon hourglass. That's possible, right? Well, there's only one way to find out! Let's see if we can beat Astrid to it! You're so competitive. something to do with your teacher. That's... not wrong. I should have known. If you're staying here, she'll be here shortly. I hope you leave soon. Um, me too. So, what brings you here today? Nothing really. I just thought I'd drop by. But it looks like you're plenty busy. I'll be going. Astrid say this time. Give me a minute here. 
I'm working on creating a device to bring you back, but the materials required are very rare. As such, I estimate approximately one year before it is finished. However, given your skill, I assume you will manage to return before then. Is that it? Yes, that's the end. A year? That's an awfully long time. Wait, once she's finished it, couldn't she just give it to herself in the past? Huh, yeah. Well, maybe she did finish it, but she just doesn't want to do anything for a year. Even in the future, nobody trusts her. You can reap what you sell, I guess. returned Oh are you Astrid? She's just the same. Hmm? Who are you? Who gave you permission to be here? Master, you're back already? That was fast. I suddenly felt something was amiss and decided to come back. Apparently I was right too. These two girls seem to know everything about me, but I don't know them. Explain. Oh, right. Um, where should I start? Interesting. I understand. Well, good luck returning to the future. Even in the future, I'm a genius beyond all others. To manipulate the flow of time. Wait, aren't you going to help them get home? Of course not. This is far too enter... I mean, I, I must be careful not to disturb the time stream. I thought that might happen. We talked to Master Rona about it too. I don't have any experience with temporal displacement, so I can't say if the future will be changed. There is a good chance these two would be affected somehow. We can't know either way, but I see no harm in being prudent. Besides, it sounds like a lot of trouble. I mean, doubtlessly, my future self will appear soon to get them. Really? It would be unthinkable for me to abandon my loyal apprentices. I know myself very well. That's a real relief. You can keep staying in her room, then. Wait, I'm sorry, but are you using my room without my permission? You're welcome to use the atelier, but sleep at the inn. That's what we were going to do, but we don't have any money. Come on, Master, they're only here because of you. 
At least let them borrow your room. Not me! A future version of the... Fine. Do what you want. Space. Certainly not enough for you to leave junk lying around. Hmm? Oh, that's... Oh, something arrived! Did we get something? I don't understand. Explain. All right. Well... Just what I'd expect from me. Sometimes I amaze even myself. So, what's inside? Give me a second. Are these clothes? Yeah, it looks like it. The design is kind of bold, though. Why do you think she'd send these? Here, let me see. Yes. These definitely mean you're supposed to have a fashion show. Excuse me? You heard what I said. I can't think of any other reason for me to send clothes to Verona. Why do they have to be for me? Did you just make that up because you want to make Verona wear this? Yes, in a sense. You'll find it's just her size. My future self and I share the same tastes. It, it really is a perfect fit! That's kind of scary. Nonsense. I know your body from head to toe. It's only natural. These were definitely custom made. Now hurry up and start the show. Go on and change. You could do it right here if you want. Wait, hold on. Design doesn't hold back and pushes all available envelopes. Splendid! I have no idea what any of that is supposed to mean. I thought these were bad enough before, and now that I'm wearing them, they're even worse. Oh, no, no, they're wonderful. It's as if an angel descended from on high. Don't you agree? It's actually kind of cute. Maybe. Oh, really? I just feel embarrassed. I think it's very nice, Master. Then why don't you wear it? Um, it's the wrong size. I really have outdone myself. Well done, future me. You have exquisite taste. Is a sight to behold. I'm pleased. Excellent use of our time. Tell me to prepare another. No! No way! Well, at least we know we can communicate with future Astrid, so that's good, I guess. Yes, if we ignore what she sent, it's pretty impressive. We'll have to put this to good use.
Verona, how would you like to go somewhere nice? Well, um, that sounds fun. But is it really that nice? I assume so. It's filled with many undiscovered alchemical materials. That sounds great! Where is it? In the Lost City. I discovered a submerged tower in the depths. Wait, if you discovered it, why didn't you explore it? I had a strange premonition and decided to return. You have permission to explore in my stead. In other words, you want me to go check it out for you. Your mind is as quick as ever. It's not a fool's errand, though. I know there's something in there. The tower's characteristics match other things I've seen in books on ancient civilizations. From what I can gather, there are several similar towers in the region. It does sound amazing. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the towers are for. But you can see why I know they're interesting. Yes, that does sound exciting. Apparently, there's a similar one across the Eastern Ocean. I was hoping to go there, but... Right. Ixel wanted me to tell you thanks for your help. Done anything at the Knight's Domain lately? Huh? Oh, um, not really. Why? Well, apparently, an odd fluctuation in space has just appeared. That sounded like alchemy to me, so I came to find you. If you didn't do anything, don't worry. There may be dangerous creatures nearby, so be careful. Did he mention a fluctuation in space? Yeah? Do you know anything about it? Well, I know about a place called the Machina Domain. It was really... weird. Space was just kind of jumbled up there. Maybe it's the same place. Maybe, but why would it up and appear like that all of a sudden? I don't know. But it might have something to do with us getting sent into the past. I wouldn't think that would do much. But if space-time is warped, maybe it's connected. I guess we don't know much, huh? from the south has been busy here lately. She's killing monsters left and right, which is nice, but she also destroys anything in her way. Can't someone ask her to stop? 
If that was enough, there wouldn't be a problem. The thing is, she doesn't seem to realize it. Really, I just need to keep an eye on her. But I'm not sure how I can. I see. But why do you need to do that? You're right. Why am I getting worried about this? It's not even my job! Sounds tough. Well, I'm not telling you about it so you can commiserate. I want you to figure out how to fix it. What? But, but you just told me. I can't think of anything that fast. I don't need an answer right now. Just make sure you figure out a permanent solution. Good luck. Was that easy? Why are you doing this again? Usually I don't take your side, Stirk. But this time I'll make an exception. I didn't expect such hearty opposition from you. Is it really so strange? Yes, it is. How can you just stop being king? There are some jokes you really shouldn't make. Do you really think I would joke about something so serious? Are my suggestions so far-fetched? Consider, a monarch holds the reins of power for his kingdom. But should something happen to him, the country would crumble. Yes, maybe, but it would take an army to defeat you. True. As the king, I must always be stronger than the average citizen. But no one has the power to turn back time. If we delay too long, it will be too late. That is why I've begun to question the philosophy behind the monarchy. Am I really that wrong? No, this is wrong. It'll turn the country upside down. What's wrong about it? There are many small countries around Ireland, and each has a leader. Why not ally with them and bring their leaders here to negotiate? Governance by the people. That way, any country can weather the loss of their king. I think it sounds wonderful. Maybe, but you're not... Hanging out, having fun. What are you talking about? Kingdom stuff? Ah, hello. All sound and fury signifying nothing. Don't concern yourself with it. Please, let me think about this. Yes, please do. Any ideas about what? 
that thing I talked to you about with the adventurer. Anything? Oh, that! <laughs> I remember you mentioning it, and, um... You didn't think of anything, did you? No, I didn't completely forget about it at all. Yeah, you did! Can't say I'm surprised, though. Sorry. Oh, wait! What if you have her, um, report in before she goes out on an adventure? What? You know, like she tells you where she's going, what she'll be doing, that kind of thing. That way, you could prepare for whatever she did. If we could get her to do that, then we wouldn't be having this problem. Oh. <laughs> well, have you tried... I don't know. Arresting her for disobeying the rules? Wait a second. That might actually work. I'm surprised. You actually turned out to be a big help. This should do it. Here she goes. I'm still not really sure what that was about, but I guess I helped. Adventurer's Guild that Cordelia works at in my time. Did Master Arona actually come up with the idea? Nah. Progress? Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Keep it up. It's been a while since we went on a trip together. Did we, uh, do we do this a lot? Yeah, Mavaru too. Although, I mean, think about it. Three alchemists all hanging out together? That's pretty amazing. You're right. I never thought that before. There aren't very many alchemists to begin with, but we've got a bunch all in one spot. Do you think the three of us would be able to do something really amazing together? Maybe. Oh, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. But if we work together, I don't think anything could stand in our way. Let's go! Monsters also await? I need to be careful.
do? Are they going after?
this one in too?
finish it off now.
Any progress? Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Looks like you filled the line. That means you earned a reward. Keep it up. taking care of us. See you soon. All right, here goes. Hourglass activate. Take us to the future. Ah, it's so bright. Huh? Why is Rorona here? Is... Is this... What happened? Oh no! It didn't work? I think so. What? No! That's impossible! I know I made it right! I thought so too. Huh, this is weird. You didn't get any of the ingredients wrong, did you? Astrid said Hollow Ring, Seventh Chorus, World Spirit, and Ancient Dragonhorn. Wait! Ancient Dragonhorn? Does a regular Dragonhorn not work? I just used a regular one. Could, could that be the problem? I don't know, but it's all I can think of. Are there even any ancient dragons around? I don't know. This just keeps getting worse. Maybe we should think a little before we try it again. Yeah, we should do a little more research first. What should I make? Excuse me, is Astrid here? Huh? Oh, yes, she is. Good. I heard she was out. She's usually out. I wasn't sure I could find her. What's all this noise? I come out of my room to be greeted by the scowl? Hardly a good day. First thing out of your mouth is abuse, of course. I'm here because your investigation is done. Oh, did I ask you to do something? Technically, you asked the palace, not me personally. It was a survey of Orthogalaxin. You said that the surrounding terrain suggested there were still some hidden ruins, remember? Ah, uh, yes. I do. How did it go? As you guessed, we discovered an unexplored ruin. It's not very large, but it's mostly intact. We're not sure if it's part of Orthogalaxin or not, but it does seem to be from that time period. Interesting. Interesting. You have permission to go visit it, but be careful. The ruins are old, so they could collapse. Also, our scouting team reported some sort of dragon living in the area. Personally, I don't think you should risk it, but it's your choice. Now, if you'll excuse me.
A dragon? Hmm. Well, that changes things. Verona? Yes, I know. You'd like me to go have a look, right? Your insight never fails to impress. No wonder I made you my apprentice. Why does this feel familiar? If it's unexplored, you've got a much better chance of finding something interesting. But there's a dragon! They're a bit stubborn, but that's about it. Not enough to slow me down. Don't worry about it. You make it sound so easy. Wait, a dragon? And this is an ancient ruin that no one has entered before. Then, could that mean this is an ancient dragon? Could it have the ancient horn we need? I've got a good feeling it does. We should get moving. Right. Ixel wanted me to tell you thanks for your help. Progress? Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Looks like you filled the line. That means you earned a reward. Keep it up. Dizzy. This does seem kind of like the Machina domain I remember. I don't know why it showed up, but if it is the same, it's gonna be full of dangerous monsters. I guess we need to be careful then. Thanks.
This is gonna hurt. This one in two? Progress. Huh. Looks like you finished a request. Where do you want the stamp? Looks like you filled the line. That means you earned a reward. Keep it up.
been here in a really long time. It looks dangerous. There's supposed to be a dragon here, too. We need to be careful. We might find materials for the dragon hourglass here, though. Special 
to put this one in too? Any further? 
Dragon horn? It does seem different. Sort of refined. Majestic? Maybe just really old. We should get back to the atelier right away. Looks like you finished a request. Keep it up. away. Me either. Didn't Astrid say it would be a year before she came to find us anyway? Right. And this is a valuable experience. Why don't we stay a little bit longer? That's fine with me. It's been really nice having you around. Okay. Then how about we leave right before Astrid comes to find us? We can surprise her. This is the time travel device you were talking about. I'll just be borrowing that for research. Oh, no, wait! We need that to... to... We'll get in trouble. Don't worry, I'll only need it for a little while. Besides, you couldn't have made it without me. My future self won't be here for you for a while. I'll return it to you before then. Oh, okay. So. All right, I guess we'll just stay here for now then. does it for father's errands. Yep, I'll handle it from here. Please give your father my regards. If he was in better condition, he could have come to deliver this himself. But the man is such a fool. Surely there must have been a better way to do this. Factory this, factory that. Honestly, there have to be other development options. I know what you mean, but I'm sure he has his reasons. Oh? Are you taking my father's side? No, that's not what I mean. If you don't like his way, why not try and find one yourself? I don't know all the details, so I can't think of anything, but you probably have insight I don't. Huh. Well, you win this round. Anyway, you have my documents. I'll see you around. about time. Still, you've changed quite a bit, Leonella. Really? 
Of course. I never thought you'd say something like that. What gave you the idea? I don't know. Maybe I just feel more confident. That's no surprise with all the work you've been doing. You're bound to build some self-esteem. Though I have to admit, I thought you wouldn't change that much. I'm getting better, slowly, but I am. Well, if I look at it that way, then all the stuff we've done wasn't for nothing. Are you sure this is okay, though? What about Rorona? Um, still having trouble with that, huh? Yeah. Well, you still don't have enough money for the trip, so you've got time to think. Looks like a pretty serious conversation. I should leave her alone. What should I make? What should I make? I never try. I can't believe how much weight he lost. He used to be such a powerful warrior. into one another in the strangest places. You look kind of sad. Are you okay? Oh, nothing important. Just thinking about my future. That sounds pretty important. I need to make a choice, and I don't know what the right one is. And what's the choice? I can either keep doing what I'm doing now, or I can follow in my father's footsteps. If I follow him, my life will get much harder. If I stay the course, it's easy, but nothing changes. I can't figure out what I should do. My mind was wandering, so I guess my body wandered here. Maybe I wanted to see your face. Don't you think you already have your answer? What? Well, you have a difficult option and an easy one, right? And you can't figure out which is right. Then doesn't that mean that the one your heart wants is the difficult one? I... If it really didn't matter, you'd just take the easy way out. Well, that's what I'd do, at least. I... I see. <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> You saw right through me, didn't you? I don't even understand my own feelings. Thank you. You helped me clear my mind. I should be going now. Thanks again. He does look a little better, but he still seems so lonely. At least I helped him a little. papers? He looked all right the last time I saw him. Yeah, he's been doing a lot better, actually. So why are you still bringing me his stuff? I've decided to give my father a hand whenever I have some free time. Really? What's gotten into you? 
Nothing, honestly. A good mood, perhaps? Hmm. You look different. Perhaps you're imagining it. Or perhaps you watch me a little too closely. Well, now I'm sure it was my imagination. <laughs> well, if I stay here too long, you'll milk me for everything I know. So, Dad's probably in his office by now. Was that Taunt? He was dropping something off. I don't know what it is, but he looks better. Like he woke up. Oh, really? You need to make up your mind. Don't rush me. I need to make sure I'm ready. You've been standing here for an hour. Either you're ready now, or you won't ever be. I guess I'll just have to go get her myself. Wait, wait! I'll go. I, I should tell her. Then you better get going. Okay, here goes. Miss Leonella, do you have some business here? Ah! Oh. Well, assuming you're not just here to scream, I believe Rorona is in the atelier. Uh, um, I, uh, I, I'm sorry. Hey, wait! Back to square one, I guess. She's an odd duck for sure. What should I make? What should I make? so hot lately. Yeah, I know. It just makes you want to go somewhere to cool off. Vacation. Huh? Vacation. I can just see you. Playing on the beach in a cool breeze. A beach vacation. Sure must have been fun. Are you still angry about that? Of course I am. I was all ready to go until something came up at work and I had to stay here. Then why don't we go again? Really? Seriously? I mean, if you want to. Of course I do! Can we go right now? Right now? It takes quite a while to get there. Oh, I don't mind. Although, if you don't want to... No, no, I'm fine with it. But you'd be gone for about ten days. What should we do? You know what? Why not? Let's go. That's the spirit. But what about your job? One sec, I'll take care of it. for the wait. Ready? Um, what about your work? No problem. I just gave it to one of the interns. No big deal. Right.
It's so beautiful here. The wind feels great. What do you think, Esty? It's everything I dreamed of. I've had this bathing suit ready since last time. Finally, it'll get to see the light of day. Um, why are there bathing suits in there for the rest of us? And they're a perfect fit. Oh, yeah, my teacher made those for us. Although, I wonder how she knew our sizes. She's truly a frightening woman. Ah, the water is cold. It feels great. Everything is wonderful. The world is wonderful. What was all that about? Is she having some sort of emotional issues? Taking time off is so important. I think I have a new appreciation for vacations. It's been a while since we really relaxed. I've been to the ocean before, but I've never seen a lake this beautiful. Well, since we're here already, we might as well enjoy ourselves. I guess it would be a waste if we came all the way out here and didn't take a dip. Exactly! You have to take advantage of the opportunity. Who knows when we'll be back? starting to set, we should probably get going. You're right. I had a great time, though. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm glad you had a good time. to believe it's already been a year, huh? Yeah. I hope everybody's okay back home. Do you think they're worried? Maybe we should go back. Yeah. It's fun being here, but... I don't think we can stay here. Future Master Rorona and Future Astrid are probably worried. What's going on? You look like you've been thinking about something. We were just thinking it might be time for us to go back to the future. You're leaving? Yeah, I guess you have to. I've kind of forgotten you don't really belong here. Leaving already? How impatient. But it's been a year. Well, if you're going to leave, you shouldn't draw it out. It will only get more difficult. Yeah. So, um, about the Dragon Hourglass. I conducted some, dare I say, groundbreaking research with it. I assume you want it back? Here you are, as promised. Give me my regards. Me too. We will. All right, we're going now. I know we probably caused a lot of trouble, but we had a wonderful time. I'll never forget it. Although it wasn't all fun. Yeah, that stuff with the dragon was rough. But in the end, the good stuff outweighs the bad. Exactly! Really, they're all memories we'll treasure. I'll put everything I learned to use. There's so much I never would have known if we hadn't done this. I'm glad we came. I won't forget you guys either. See you in the future. Yes, they are. 
but I'll see them again. They're from the future, after all. Yes, although the next time you meet, for them, it will be the first time. You'll know them, but they will have never met you before. Oh, I see. Still, I doubt it will take you long to become friends again. Not long at all. Yeah, you're right. Very well, I think it's time I left. What? Already? Yes, there are a number of things I must attend to. Don't give me that look. I was never coming back for long. I returned because I sensed something amiss. With that dealt with, I'm returning to my work. Grandmaster, preparations are complete. Ah, thank you. That was fast. Well, take care of yourself. Everyone's gone. It's gonna be pretty quiet around here. Don't worry, Han is still here, as is a great deal of work. Put my head down and work until we get to see each other again.